In this video, I'm going to show you five ways to enjoy your Zobo drink, just in case you're like me and you're tired of drinking just the juice. If you'd like to know other ways to put this yummy juice to good use, then keep watching this video. You may already know how to make the Zobo juice, but before we go into the recipes, let me give you a refresher course on how you make your Zobo drink very rich, thick and naturally sweet without the addition of any artificial sweeteners. All you need for this would be the skin of a pineapple, of course the zobo leaves that I have thoroughly washed, some oranges, ginger, whole cloves and pineapple flavor. We will begin by cutting up the oranges into very thin slices. Now what this orange will do is it will add a layer of orange flavor to the zobo drink. Ensure that your oranges are thoroughly washed and there's no need to deceive it, okay? Afterward, open up the pot, grab the washed zobo leaves and transfer to the pot. Then grab the clean pineapple skin and add to the pot as well. The pineapple skin is packed loaded with nutrients guys and would also lend a lot of pineapple flavor to the zobo drink. The orange slices goes in next, followed by the peeled ginger and the whole cloves. Afterwards, add some clean water into the pot, enough water to cover the entire surface of the zobo and everything that's been added into the pot. Mix to combine thoroughly. Then cover the pot and allow to simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes on medium to low heat. When it is fully simmered, take it off the heat and allow it to sit in the pot for at least 48 hours or up to one week. Now this is the secret to achieving a rich and thick consistency for your Zobo drink as well as ensuring that the Zobo is naturally sweetened. This one is highly advisable guys and is a total game changer, I promise you. After you've allowed this sit for at least 48 hours, either on your countertop or in the fridge, strain out the liquid and then discard the shaft. Ensure that you squeeze out that shaft as much as possible so you can get all of the juice out of it, okay? Now, what you get afterwards is a thick, very rich and naturally sweet Zobo drink that can be enjoyed as is or used to make a variety of yummy treats. This Valentine's Day season is the perfect time to put your Zobo to good use to make some of these yummy treats. Let me show you how I make some of my favorite ones. The first recipe is a simple but very deliciously rewarding treat. It's exceptionally great if you are lactose intolerant and wants the perfect milk substitute for your smoothies. Now for this smoothie, I'm using some apples, pineapple chunks, banana, strawberries, grapes, and of course, that luscious and delicious Zobo drink as my liquid of choice. Now cover up the blender and blend this until it is completely pureed. And what you get afterwards is a rich, thick, nutritious, and perfectly yummy smoothie that can be enjoyed as either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. What makes this smoothie stand out for me is the color, guys. The color is just so pretty, lush, and very, very inviting. And it's all thanks to the Zobo drink. The second recipe is a simple Zobo parfait that is the perfect breakfast or dinner meal on Valentine's Day. Now place some Greek yogurt in a bowl, then pour in some of that thick luscious Zobo drink into the bowl and then wakes everything together to combine until this beautiful color is formed. Oh my god guys, it's always the color for me. Now it's time to assemble up the parfait. All you need to do is pour some of that yogurt mix into the parfait cup, then top with some coconut chips, apple chunks, some grapes, banana chunks, strawberries, more chips, more of that you got, and then just pretty much repeat the entire process until the glass is full. Now you want to take careful time at the top so that the top is looking extra, extra pretty. You can pretty much use whichever fruits or add-ins of your choice that you prefer. It is totally up to you. Repeat the process for the second glass and your Valentine Day treat is ready to be devoured. The third recipe is also a great treat for Valentine's Day and is perfect for kids and adults alike. This one I call the Zobo Popsicle. Mm, 
yummy <laughs> simply add some yogurt in a blender followed by some bananas pineapples and of course that luscious zobo drink then cover the blender and blend this until it is very smooth what you get is a perfect vibrant color again all thanks to the zobo drink now transfer the puree to a popsicle mold just gently pour it in so they don't make a mess and just fill it up onto the very top then cover with the popsicle mold sticks and then place in the freezer to harden up now this takes anywhere between four hours or up to 24 hours to harden up depending on how your freezer works when it is hardened take it out serve it up and enjoy this one again is a perfect treat to enjoy on valentine's day or when the weather is just so hot and you want something to cool down yourself my final recipe for today's video would be this simple cocktail drink that's for adults only but if you want to serve this to your kids remember to take away the alcohol content in it okay add a lot of ice to a blender followed by the luscious zobo drink some lemon juice then you can use any alcohol of your choice vodka rum white wine red wine whatever tickles your fancy is up to you and i'm also adding some sugar as well now cover this all up and blend until it is very very smooth then transfer to a cocktail glass and garnish with some orange slices. This, my darlings, is the perfect way to end your Valentine's Day with your partner, okay? Now, which one of these five recipes is your favorite one and which one would you be making this Valentine's Day season or pretty much any time that you want to make it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, Valentine's Day is the perfect day to show love and I hope you show it to those special people in your life using one or more of these Zobo recipes that I've shared with you today. My job here is done, guys. I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and bye-bye.